Hi, this is Dina from Digital Hotcakes, and I am in Pro Show Producer. And I'm going to show you how to create a breaking news intro. Let's take a look. Okay, and I'm going to use some of the clips from our Digital Hotcakes Volume 10 Globes, specifically the Globe 3 Background Intro and the Globe 3 Background. So that's what you're going to need to create this. We're also using um, a soundtrack that we purchased from SoundDogs.com, and the title of it is Late Breaking. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and get rid of this slide here so we can start over. And the first thing we want to do is bring in that Globe 3 background intro. Then I'm going to set the slide time to 7 seconds. And I'm going to double click on the slide to open up our slide options. And the first thing we're going to do is add the Globe 3 background. So we'll add image or video and let's bring in that Globe 3 background. Okay, now let's set up the timing for this Globe 3 background. We want it to begin after the Globe 3 intro is finished. So let's go under Effects, Motion Effects. And let's right click on keyframe number one for the Globe 3 background. Set time for this keyframe. And we're going to set this to 2.3 seconds. Okay. And I'll just scroll through, through here so you can see what this looks like. There's the intro. And there's where the second clip comes in. So it's going to be seamless between the two of these clips. You've got the intro and then you have the globe. Okay, the next thing we need to do is add our caption. So let's go under captions, caption settings, and we'll type our caption. Okay, now this, and we need to move this down just a little bit. And I got this color here for the caption by going under color, color set, and grab in the eyedropper and I just dropped it in the background here so it gives a nice complementary color to the background. And I also have an outline and a drop shadow on the title as well. And for up here under text effects, fly in, we need that to be set to zoom out center. Okay, and the last thing that we, well not the last thing, but the last thing we need to do to the caption is go under Caption Motion and we're going to right click on its keyframe number one and we're going to set its time to three seconds. And also right here our fly-in effect, if you right click on that fly-in effect, set effect time, we need that time to be 0.5 seconds. Okay, now the last thing that we need to do is add our soundtrack. We can do that here under Sounds, select Sound, select Sound, sound File, and then you'll navigate to wherever you have kept what, whatever, whatever soundtrack you want to add to this particular slide. And I'm grabbing that late, late breaking, like I said, that we got from SoundDogs.com. And then we'll click OK, and we are finished.